Welcome to the Happiness Alliance, Happiness Index, How to Manage Your Data Sheet, Part 2. Let's get started. All right, you remember where we were. We had this data sheet and we had actually gotten all of the questions scaled. So let's pick up with the same data sheet on the scaled tab. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of scaled. Move our copy and then scaled, yes, create a copy. All right. We're going to work with genders today. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at different aspects of a demographic. We're going to use genders because gender is the simplest one at this point. Now for you, you're probably going to want to use a different aspect of demographics because as you'll see, males and females generally don't differ that much on happiness index scores. This may not be true if you look at different ages within a gender or something like that, you'll find that other aspects of demographics might give you some really exciting data. So for example, if you collect data for a neighborhood or if you collect data for other aspects of your population, you might find some really interesting differences. In any case, in this demonstration, we're just going to look at gender just so that you can see how to do this. Because we follow the GDPR, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this information, which would allow you to understand who took the survey. We're going to take that out. And we're also going to get rid of information for demographics that we're not. And we're also going to get rid of information for demographics that we're not going to be looking at. So we'll take out this information. We're just selecting these rows and we're just deleting them. Now you won't need to do this when you have your own survey, but we're doing this just because we follow the GDPR. Now we're going to select this data that we had put in there just for testing because we don't need that. Remember that we're going to be using this column BJ. You want to take special note of this because the next thing we're going to do, well, it's going to seem risky. It's not, but we're doing this so that we can sort. We're going to select rows 11 and all the way up, and we're going to delete that. Now, what we want to do is we want to do our sorting. So we're going to select the whole data sheet, and then we're going to use the sort button. Go to data, and then there's that lovely sort right there, and we're going to sort by, remember what we're going to sort by? We're going to sort by BJ. So let's find BJ. There it is, and OK. There we have it. We have everything sorted by gender. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy, and we're going to be working with our copy. That way, if we make a mistake, we can always go back. We'll call the first copy female. So let's get all the females. So we're going to scroll down until it's not female anymore, until it goes over to male. Oh, we went too fast. Look at that. There it changes over to male on row 1217. Now you notice that we have female in other languages, and that's because we collect the happiness index data in many different languages. So let's just go ahead and get rid of anything that's not female. There's a couple of ways you can do this, but we're going to do it this way. We're going to select the male, and then we're just going to scroll down really far. We're going to go as far as we can go until we are pretty sure we don't have any more data because we know we don't have 4,000 data points. So we'll scroll all the way down to the 4,000 mark. And you remember this is that some of this data isn't filled in because of our finish rate, right? Not everybody finishes taking the survey. OK, we've selected all that. And we're just going to hit delete. OK, so now we have females. OK, we're going to make another copy of gender. And move our copy. Gender, create a copy. OK, we'll call this one males. This time, we're going to first get rid of the females. Do you remember how many females there were? About 1,212 or something like that. We'll scroll down. And we'll, first, we'll get rid of that. We're getting close to 1,212, so now we'll slow down as we scroll. Slow down a bit. And getting there. And there it is, 1,216. OK, let's, instead of hitting the delete button, we're going to go Control or whatever your mouse keyboard is, and we're going to delete the cells. And we're going to shift up. There we go. Now we have male, other, and then we also have all those people who didn't finish the survey. So let's first go down 
and we're going to include others now. Oh, there we go. There's where others end. Hey, do you notice here we've got some other languages? Now we could transcribe these. We could we could go to a key and we could transcribe these. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go ahead and delete these. And we're just going to go all the way down to 4,000 again, or 3,000, because we got already got rid of about 1,000 with the females. So there we are. And we'll just delete that. OK, so now, before we get rid of others, let's go ahead and make a copy of males. So copy. It's males that we want to copy. Create a copy. Now we'll call this one others. Now let's go back to males. Remember, others and males are going to look exactly alike at this point, so you're going to want to be focusing. OK, let's go down to where we no longer have males, and it goes to others. There's some other languages. And we'll go ahead, it's at 770. We'll capture the others. And we've got those, now we can just hit delete. OK, now we have all the males together. And we can now go to the others. And We'll start at row one, and it goes to 770, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh, we went too far. Let's go back up. 770. Nope, 769. And this time, we're going to hit Control, and we're going to delete those. OK, now we have all of our different genders, each one on the sheet. So let's go ahead and start arranging our sheets to do calculations. So we are going to insert one row, two rows. Now we have four rows, and I like to have eight rows. OK, so we've inserted eight rows there. We'll go ahead and go all the way over to A1. We're going to do the same thing. At this point, we can bring everything over to A1. Insert. And do it again so that we end up inserting eight rows. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for males. Let's go all the way over and insert. Do it again. Insert and then remember I talked in the first sheet about having to concentrate. So this is another one of those things where we want to concentrate. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is we want to calculate our domains, our questions, and our counts. Now everything's in the same format. We start with I for our data, where our first question is. So we can go ahead and grab those formulas that I gave you. We'll go ahead and Copy those. Control C on a Mac. Start with females. Put our cursor on A1. Control V. All right. Others. Control V. And males. Control V. OK. Now we want to make sure that our formulas are correct. So we know in our sheets that we're starting at I10. And we're going down for males to 770, 69, 778, because we added a bunch of rows. And we know that for females, we go down to 1,200 and something, probably 300. So we want to make sure that we have got our data selected correctly. So we'll go ahead and double click. That's fine. Actually, that we don't need to go all the way down that far, but that's OK. Um, same thing for our average. OK, that all looks good. And this all should be the same. Yes. OK, and we'll go ahead and just do the same for males. And we can assume that it's correct, but it's always good to check. OK, and for females. Right. There we go. OK, does that look right? 1,000. So we have 1,194 respondents. And we can look at what our finish rate is at the end with that 1,110. Well, that makes kind of sense, because that what that means is not everybody with 
filled every single question in, like for example, somebody didn't fill a question in here, but they did fill in gender, which is interesting, but people can choose not to fill out certain questions. All right, now what are we gonna do? Well, we'd like to see how the different genders vary in domain scores. So let's just go ahead and go to this domain sheet and move or copy that. We have copy of domain. We'll scroll down here, find what we want. Yes, we want domain. And let's drag that over here and we'll call this gender domains. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the chart that we have and we'll delete that because we don't need that. And we'll also get rid of this data because this data is for everybody who took the survey, not just the people who finished it. And we don't need this anymore because these are the domains that we had before, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go first to the females and we're gonna grab those domain scores. So we're gonna go ahead and copy those and we'll bring them over here and we'll paste them. Whoops, we don't wanna do that, right? We want to actually paste special, remember? Let's paste the values, okay? Those are females, we'll note that. Okay, let's do the same thing for males. Again, this is one of those situations where you really do need to concentrate because you could slip up here and get the wrong one. Paste special values, mislabel something, and then you've got things incorrect, males. So we'll go ahead and do other. Control C on a Mac. You'll have to figure it out what it is on your computer if it's not a Mac. Go over there and paste special values. Okay, this is others. Just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the empty columns. But first, it's always nice to have clear borders. Let's go ahead and get rid of the columns that we don't need. Just highlight them and delete them, just like we did before a number of times and a number of different things. We'll go to our bar at the bottom and we'll get rid of You can see how if you don't pay attention, you could end up getting rid of one of the domain scores and then you wouldn't know which domain you got rid of. So you'd have to do everything all over again. Okay, that should be it. You can always go through and check. Right, now we'll go ahead. Let's put this into something a little more manageable. Make it a little smaller. That's better. Let's go ahead and control C. Copy those, and we want three columns here. And we're going to transpose. We're going to paste special and paste special. Oops, oh, over Paste special, transpose. Yes. So this is females. This is males. And this is other. Let's just do a little spot check. So the last one for others, 46.2, yes. The second one for females, 59.9, yes. And for males, the third from the bottom, 45.5, yes. Okay, we're good. So there we have our chart. And we'll probably wanna include that in our reports. But let's make an actual chart. That would be our, our chart of numbers. So we'll highlight what we wanna make a chart of. And we're going to go to the very top and we're going to go insert and we're going to insert a chart, a column chart. There we go. So we have our column chart. Now I like to make it a little bigger because I like the domains to be level like that. We'll first rename it, we'll call it happiness means by gender. All right. And then we're going to double click into it and we wanna change that axis. Now, sometimes it becomes difficult to get into that axis. I'm glad that it's right, difficult right now so that I can show you that 
even though you do this over and over, it's still not easy sometimes. So I'm going to see if I can click into it and see if I can format chart area, see if that will do it. That's still not doing it for me. Okay, so I'm going to take it and just move it a little bit and see if I can click into that. And I want to format my axis. There we go. I got into it. So I clicked into it and then I left clicked on a map and got into it that way. There's oftentimes more than one way to do things. There we go. I've got it on scaled on a zero to a hundred scale. I don't really like these colors, but so first I'm going to select all of them and I am going to add data label. I'll do the same thing for the next one. Select one and it selects all of them. If you select one of the columns and it doesn't select all of them, then just come out of the chart and start over again. Now I want to change the color. So I select all of them. And I hit the control and I want to format the data. Let's see if that'll, yep. Okay, I'll choose the paint bucket and these are the females. So I think that I will go ahead and fill them with, whoops, I selected the wrong thing. Okay. So now I want to change the colors. So I'm going to select that, select each one of them again. And then I will, it says automatic, but I, I want to change it from automatic and I'll just color all the females pink. And I will color all of the males blue. And I will color all of the others green. You can choose any color you want. Now, let's see how they differ and where they're similar. And as I said, you'll Notice that males and females aren't that different in many of the domains. In health, you'll see males are doing a little better. You'll also see that overall, others are not doing as well as males and females. We can also just kind of get a, a general look. So um, we can call it the composite and see how they're doing an average in all of the domains. And that'll kind of give us an idea just sort of how they're doing overall. We'll go ahead and slide that down. And we'll see that there's a, a bit of a difference there that between males and females, it's just a couple of points. And between others and males and females, there's quite a few more points. Okay, so we can do some analysis about this chart in terms of looking at what are the different demographic aspects doing. Um, when you gather data for a neighborhood or something like that, you will find bigger differences. If you look at income levels or other aspects of demographics, you'll find bigger differences. So let's go and look at the question differences between female, male, and others. So here, we're going to make a new sheet. We're just going to plus for a new sheet, and we're going to call it gender and this is a little simpler to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with females and we're going to we'll grab rows one through five of the females. We'll copy those and we'll go over to gender questions. Go ahead and put our, you can put your cursor on A1 and then remember one's paste special. Paste and values. Okay, we don't need the domains and um, the scores or the domains. We'd like to have the question names, delete that. And then we'd like to reformat this a little bit. Format row, wrap text. All right, and this is actually counter a lot of, the counter a lot of question. Both are a kind of satisfaction with life, um, but the count, we're gonna just differentiate that. So. Now we'll go to males and all we need are the question averages. So copy that to gender questions. Oh, let's, let's leave all this real quick. Yeah. And go to row three and paste special. And ah, because we put that females in there, 
it didn't like it. So we'll go back to mails and we'll copy it again. Gender questions, put a cursor over three, paste special and values. We'll label that mails. And we we'll, won't make that mistake again. And the next one's gonna be others. Go to others, go to row five here, control C if you're using a Mac, copy under questions and a special values and label. Let's make this a little more manageable. And bring it down. Other way. There we go. And let's just center it. And then last, let's make this look a little nicer. Okay, now we can look at what some of the big differences are. So we can just scroll down just like we did before and see where are, so where are some of the lowest scores for the, um, for the others. Let's see, where are the others just particularly suffering? So we're seeing that they're feeling more rushed. We'll go ahead and put that in gray. And what are some other places where others are feeling, feeling quite low in trusting neighbor, neighbors? That's quite bad. What are some other really low scores? Not doing a whole lot of volunteering or donating, although look, nobody's doing a whole lot of that in this sample. And feeling lonely, 31, where others are 43, but none of those scores are very good. And trust in government is quite low. Let's put that in gray. Let's see. Where else are we seeing really low scores? Let's look at discrimination. There it is. Sense of discrimination is 46. It's not as bad as we would expect necessarily. All right, so this tells us some of the places where this particular demographic is really suffering. They're feeling lonely. Um, they're really not trusting their national government and they're not trusting their neighbors. Um, they're also not donating or volunteering. So what this would say at a community level, if you were a community leader, is you'd really want to get your people who identify as others engaged in the community volunteering um, and, and feeling like they're a part of the community. So that's an example of how you can separate out by an aspect of a demographic and then do a little bit of analysis. Of course, you can build charts out of this. And the other thing that you could do is you could even further select. So for example, if we had left the data in there on females for age, we could go ahead and we could do another sort by age. And then we could do a whole bunch more sheets to look at how the different females of different ages are doing and then compare them. So you could just kind of go on and on with all of the different dem demographics using this, this technique. There's many other ways to do this, but this is just one way to do this. I hope you enjoyed this and wish you very well on your happiness journey.